What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Paper Mario the Origami King. We are on part 20. In the last episode, we actually completed the Temple of Shrooms, defeated the Yellow Streamer, and in today's video, a brand new little temple opened up while the sun came up in the Scorched Sandpaper Desert. So we are actually going to be checking that out and continuing on with the main story of this game. So if you guys are hyped, Make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. We come out of the Shroom Temple and the sun is back where it belongs. That's what Olivia just said. And look at it. It is so bright and it looks amazing. As you guys remember, before we actually beat this uh, temple right here, there was no sun in the desert. It was all dark. It was just pitch black. Well, it wasn't like pitch black, but it was nighttime basically in the desert forever. But now we have the sun and this place looks immaculate. It looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. It looks wonderful. But back in the beginning, well, not in the beginning, well, the front of the... Scorching Sandpaper Desert, like I said, a little temple opened up right at the Sun Shrine, wherever that is. It's like, we were there before. It's where we placed the Sun Incense at. So a little shrine opened up now that the Sun is out. So we're going to be heading back there and doing all that good stuff. Trying to further on this main story. And I believe we are going to be actually exiting out of the Sandpaper Desert. Finally, we've been here for a good good amount of time. But we're finally going to be exiting out of it and moving along with the main story. Because now that we have, uh, what is it, three of this five streamers done? And how many worlds are there? I think there's six worlds in total. But I think... uh. Five of them have streamers in it, and the sixth one's probably, like, the final world. But, yeah, this is world three right here, and this is exactly where I went ahead. Yo, what the... What you doing, dog? Look at this thing. You got a giant paper macho. Oh! Come here. How do I take this thing down? I gotta get a good hit on this thing. Chill on me, dog. Chill on me. You know, I'm you know, I don't even have to worry about it. Why, why do I have to fight it? I don't even have to worry about it. We got a good amount of gold, too. Just realize that. But back here, over at this little sun temple, just as I suspected, what we got, Professor Toad? What we got, dog? Look at this, you two. The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance. This may contain what I've been seeking proof of the ancient ones himself. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. But, dude, the sun making this desert look phenomenal. Making it look ten times better. I don't know if it's making it look better or it's just a change of what we normally have. Because, you know, like, every time something changes, sometimes it changes for the better. I just feel like it looks better. Especially with the sandpaper. We can see, like, all the yellow, the bright colors just looking spiffy. The music did change, I think, as well. A little bit more upbeat tempo. And then you can see, like, heat waves. Like, if you look at the uh, the save block right below my face cam, or right to the right of it, right corner, you see the, uh, the save block, like, moving. Like a heat wave. It's pretty dope. But... We can head down into this little sun temple and see what, what this is all about. Because this opened up. It's got to be something, something pretty spiffy down here. Hey, Toad. Yo, Professor Toad's jumping with me. I like that. Let me make our way down here. Hey, guys. It's absolutely freezing in here. Or is it just me? I thought we restored the sun. Why is it so chilly in here? Uh, I can explain. Although we are in the desert, we now have descended below the surface where the sun's warming rays cannot reach us. Actually, the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my explanation. Okay, so why is it so cold, man? My word, what is that in the name of peer review study is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you just say, dog? Oh! Got a giant ice block with a toad in there. This is like the freezer section of the desert right here. Look at it, you got, uh, like, frozen steaks. You got a toad frozen up in a block. Oh, is that the... This is looking like a cool toad. I seen him on, like, a... On, like, a review of this game. He has, like, a cool little cloak or something. So, maybe we gotta get him out the ice. But he tries digging up. He not dig up. What we got over here? Okay, we got a little elemental statue here, or a little bit of elemental thing. And we got a toad around here, too, which I kind of want to find. I, I bet you this is the toad. It's got to be the toad in the ice block. Let's just use our fire elemental power that we learned with the fire bibliophone. It'll be able to turn into the giant phoenix, the cool-looking phoenix, and just blow fire on it. Get it, dog. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, melt that thing. Oh, we melt this thing down. Yo, dude, this toad looks sick. I've seen pictures of him before. He looks awesome. He has, like, this cool little cloak on him. Look at him. He's looking fire, dude. Fire. Let's get it. I like how, like, toads run everything. It's so funny. <laughs> like, we got Professor Toad, and then we got this cool cool toad right here. Should I try heating him up with fire again? Yeah, let's burn him up. Look at this dude. That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire. Leashy self became signed. What? Dude, this dude's talking in, like, a different language here. He's alive. Allow me to introduce myself. I am indeed the toad, known as Odie Captain Teod. To be precise. Odie Captain Teod. That's a sick name. I survived the interminable passage of eons here in this arctic prison now i am free captain tio of course mario olivia i think he means captain tio oh that's sick dude's got a fancy name right here what's he doing down here though now then down the series academic business there's a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for the time in merle now in this historic moment i have the opportunity to go directly to the source what an occasion oh captain my captain 
we have studied the diet of the ancient based on artifacts and oral traditions in the in the region. But there's one thing that has us completely stumped. How did you how did you take your coffee? <laughs> it didn't stop. Even three sugars as he said, yo dude, I love the little dialogue and the little jokes that they throw in here. Makes me every single time. My work here is done. See you, Professor Toad. Wow, coffee with three sugars must you must really like sugars. That's interesting. So that's what he was trying to get to this whole time? Trying to uh figure out a coffee recipe? I'll take you to coffee rocks. <laughs> but Captain Teoda over here telling us to go back to town. He's saying, yo, we gotta go to the Great Sea. So in order to get to the Great Sea, we have to head back to Toad's Town and head over to the ship and we can sail over to the Great Sea. But we gotta meet him back at uh where the warp pipes are at. I forget what that place is called. It's like the museum or something. We're going to be actually headed back there. And the best way to do that is to head through the warp pipes and get rolling with that. And I do want to head back to the shop as well in town. So I can actually buy different uh different items like shiny boots, more shiny boots. Or maybe I should start buying like flashy boots or something along those lines. Because shiny boots are starting to not work. And especially when we're getting later and later in the game, maybe I should start buying better boots. But onward, let me actually check out one more thing. I want to check out the items that I do have. So they're not items. We want weapons. That's what it is. We actually do have a decent amount of good weapons, like flashy hammers look good. I might want to buy a few pairs of uh, flashy boots, though. That would be nice. Onward, Mario and Professor Toad. We just met Captain Teod. He's looking all spiffy, all good. This way, this way, this way. Back up out of the ice little cellar, and we can just make our way all the way and hug this left side. Where's my boot at? There it is. My boot car. Get in here, dog. Get him in the boot car. There you go. Finally, like fourth time's the charm there. But if we hug this left side over here, we can actually, uh, the warp pipe should be right up here. Should just be cooking. I don't think this episode is going to be too, too long today. I think it's going to be a rather shorter one, but hopefully you guys still do enjoy it. Because I just want to do one thing, and that is make our way over to the next part. And all that good stuff, finish it up. And then, because we don't really have any big thing to tackle on right now. We're kind of just like side quests until we make our way to the fourth world. So, that is what we're doing. We make our way back to Toad Town in this pipe. We rocking out. Let's get it. Let's go. And we're over here. Let me talk to this dude. Actually, I want to head back to the shop first. I want to head back to the shop first before I even talk to this dude because I'm looking for Captain Teo. He said, meet him here. So we chilling. We relaxing. Where's my dude at? Let's go. Where's the shop? The shop should be right here. And actually, I actually never do this, but I'm going to do this right now. If I go to my accessories, I can equip right here this. I can equip my 20% discount at the store. I hate how you have to equip it. That should just be like an automatic. You guys know what I'm saying? It should be an automatic. And look at all these items we have filled up. We're stacking up on the items. I gotta buy some flashy boots. Oh, what can I get you? Please spend generously. I want this. Wait, is that it? No, oh, they're, they're flashy boots. Yeah, I want flashy boots. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of them. I think I'll buy two of them, actually. Don't want anything else. Hmm. Don't want anything else. What do we got here? We got a shiny hurl hammer. I'm gonna buy one of them. 1,104? What you mean? That's fine. We're chilling with that. I really like my accessories right here, and I'm actually going to equip stuff. Oh, let's go to weapons. Actually, I'll keep the shiny boots until they break, and then I'll just stack up. Because look at all these good items we got. We are rocking out. We're doing dirty work right now. We're doing dirty work grinding out here. We got a bunch of coins, too. But, like I said, we can head back to the museum now and find that Captain Teal guy. I think we just got to talk to uh, this museum guy. Maybe he'll have something to do with it. He's got it. Yo, what's goody? What's good? Let's talk to you, dude. Uh, Mario, we have some new pieces on display. Please do view them at your leisure. Yo, what you mean? Okay, never mind. Maybe we gotta go back to, uh, the boat. Maybe we gotta go to the boat first. But he did say meet him at the Great Sea. He's like, yo, we gotta meet at the Great Sea. Let's get one. He said he was gonna go to the museum, but he wanted to go to the Great Sea. So, let's go, let's go, let's go over here. Hey, wrong way. Hmm, yo, dude, the Toad Town jams just rock. <laughs> having a blast but over here yo what's good toad how you doing here's a great sea what's goody i talked to you buddy then shall we set motor for great sea i'm um, sure okay maybe we shouldn't have done that we gotta find captain teod we have to find captain teod maybe i should go back to town maybe i should go back to town Da, 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 da. Let's see what Olivia says. Can I like talk to Olivia right now? Wow, the Great Sea is so big. The breeze feels so good. Sniff. Why does it smell so salty? Because it is salty. It's so endlessly big. The only word you could use to describe it is epic. Well, that and great, I guess. But it is a Great Sea. There's a purple streamer. Oh, I guess we did have to come out this way because we got like a little cutscene right here. So that's how you usually know when you're doing good. You, you get a cutscene. Great Sea is huge. We better stick close to the streamer so we uh, don't lose track of it. Okay, so I guess we're just following the streamer. 
Because we are just following the streamer. Yeah. Ba -do -ba -do. Let's get it. Let me talk to Olivia one more time. Can I? Okay. Right. Where do you think the purple streamer goes? We better not lose sight of it. Okay, let's just follow the purple streamer then. To the purple streamer, yeah. Look at it. it just goes all the way out this way. Hey, what's up, shy guy? How you doing, dog? Let me come over here. Mario, look, the streamer dips down the sea. How are we supposed to follow it down there? Yo, what you mean? I guess we cannot. It's over this way. Oh, yo, what are those things? Oh, the little cheap jeeps. I was like, yo, what is that? Anything over here? Bam, bam. It's like a fog wall. What is that? I want to go through it. It's like a fog wall? Yeah. I guess this is like the end of the map. Can we travel through it? Oh, we can. Whoa, a vest. Oh, no, it's going to kick us back out. It's going to kick us back out. What do you mean? I said purple streamer ends, and this fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it at all. Just get lost in that mess. Okay, better turn back for trouble. Uh, what a pain in the port bow. Wish we had a C chart, then we could navigate through the haze. Okay, so we need a C chart. Say, so speaking of C charts, you two ever heard of the legend of legendary Captain Teo? Yo, dude, I, I just saved that dude. I just saved that dude. There, there's a C chart that I might. Okay, so he has a C chart. You mean Captain Teo? We know that guy. He must be at the museum. Okay, so he is at the museum. I told you. I said that he's at the museum. Maybe I had to uh, come over here and then uh, maybe trigger something. So maybe this trigger stuff. I don't like when they do that. I don't like when they do that. Like, how was I supposed to know to go into the fog? I kind of just did it on my own. I had no idea. I got you. I, I legit just got lucky. But let's go over here. The all streamer ends. I can actually just return to Toad Sound from here. And now this Toad, this Captain Toad over here, is saying, yo, go back to the museum and go find that dude. That is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna get grinding. We're gonna get grinding. Alright, back at town. Back at town. Oh, dude, the, the, dude, the music, the soundtrack rocks in this game. On the dock. <laughs> Yo, that sign's hilarious. It just says, On the dock, you're on it. <laughs> the dock, you're on it. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yo, dude, this yeah, this soundtrack has just been great so far. Like, I think like every single place I've been to, it just has a rocking tune going on with it, and I can just jam out whenever. Especially when they do like the dance numbers and stuff, like they did it when we reversed the yellow streamer. But huh, I thought Captain Teod would be here to greet us. Captain Teod, you mean Captain Teod? <laughs> I love how the toads do that. They're like, nah, you're saying his name wrong, but it's just like a different way of spelling it. And there's my dude. There he is, my boy! Hey, the sign says no pilot in the merino. You're in direct violation of the sign. I'm oh, my precious merino, still beautiful, still formidable, and yet time marches on. My dude, here he is. Oh, uh, what is that, the marina? Are we gonna be able to drive that thing? He says it's his. That'd be sick. That'd be sick if we get the driving thing. And he has the sea chart, so we probably have to get him, you sea chart. Sorry I'm late, but I think I heard everyone while I was running in. You want to get... Get that rig to the Great Sea. I'm your toad. Oh, we're getting that rig, that the Sea Marino to the Great Sea. Let's get it. Let's get it, dude. Let's see. Oh yes, look at the Monty Moles going to work, doing everything, and we got a mechanic toad over here with grease all over him. He's looking spiffy, dude. I love it. I love it. Alrighty, you should be good to go. You decide you want to rig up a few more outboots to give the vessel some real oomph. You call me. You got it, dog. You got it. You have my gratitude, and you may now have this. Oh, yes, sir, the sea chart, baby. Now we can travel through the fog and all that, and I'm guessing that is where we're going to have to go. Yay, thank you so much. I can't wait to venture to see who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. Whoa, has anyone ever rhymed those two words before? C and C? Two different Cs? That's pretty dope. Let's go. Museum Toad, let us be. We want to go sail the sea. That's how you rhyme. That is how you rhyme a little. Get on my face. I'm a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Let's get it. Let me go, the toad. Alright. To the boat! Yo, let's get let's get cooking. Are we set motor for the great sea? Heck yeah, dude. Choo choo! Yeah, we got Captain T.O. on the top rung. And we got this little uh, vessel right there. I don't know what the vessel does. What does the vessel do? If we have it, it looks like it can it can go underwater, so maybe we can uh submarine underwater. So let's see. The great sea. Press L to view my C chart. Okay. Here's the sea chart right here. The red boat marks your current position. Okay. Check my sea chart as you go to keep if you keep getting lost. Mostly blank right now, but I'll add new islands we'll discover along the way. Okay, so I guess that's where we gotta go. I've already mapped one island on the sea. Menacing skull shape. I named it Bonehead Island. So that is where we're gonna go. To Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is 
Said to hide a secret tie to the fox surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. Okay. Press down to dive in the submarine. Okay, so we can find things under the water, all that good stuff. Treasures. That's pretty dope. But we are going to be heading to Bonehead Island. Awesome. I guess it's through the fog. I'm going to head all the way over here to the right side. And then uh, try to line myself up with the, with the map and just make a hard right. I think that's a play. Check out the map. Oh, we're not even like one up. Jeez, man, the sea's huge. But I love that they put this in the game. Yeah, I've always been a fan of uh, just like water stuff. Dun, 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 Pick the map. We're heading in a good direction right here. Head straight through the fog. Ah, fog. Ah, no fog. You're not my sea chart shall guide us. Let's see the map. We're getting there a little bit to the right a little bit more. We should be chilling. Should be coming up here very, very soon. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, yeah. We grooving. We grooving, dog. Where is that at? Right here. Is this it? It's got to be it. Yeah, it is. Here we are, baby. Bone Island. We can travel through the fog now. Bone Island, dude. It has to be. It has a giant skull on it, and it's the only thing inside the fog right here. Oh, it's looking sick. Bonehead Island right here. We got a bunch of crows. I see like a sniffing merchant right there with a fire flower. Oh, sure is creepy. Is it just me or is that big ugly skull face staring at us? Nah, it's definitely staring at us. I'm getting real sick of it. I'm real sick of it. But there we go. Made our way to Bone Island. Let's complete it. Let's do it. Let's get it after it. Yo, crows, chill on me. Chill on me, crows. I want to talk to this sniffing. Come here, buddy. Fun, function, and functional. I have accessories for sale. They are good. I already right, my sales pitch. Got a gold? Oh, dude, that's tough. And a coin step counter. Walk a thousand steps with this and you'll be rewarded. I kind of want that. But for that much? Uh, okay, we might have to come back and get some other things. Now get that. Fire flower. Awesome. We can fill in these little bottomless holes right here. Get chilling with them. Yo, chill on me, crow. Chill on me, crow. I ain't dealing with you. Chill on me, crows. Chill on me, dude. We got this sick music. Oh, chill on me, crow. What'd I say? Leave me alone. Just trying to fill this bottomless hole right here. Get some confetti from here. Yes, sir. I need to chill on me, crows. Seeing if I can go through this whole thing without battling these crows, man. Well, I head down here, and there's a. Uh, okay, so there's this. But I don't even think I have enough confetti to do it. I do. And oh, that's all the bottomless holes. Okay, so this, I guess this is a rather small place. We're just here to do like one simple task. Shiny ice flower. Brand new item. I don't think we had that one. We got all the bottomless holes. Bro, what you mean? What do you mean? Gotta face off with the crows, but they, they don't have that much health. I feel like my shiny boots just, just should be able to just whap on them. How many moves we got? Alright, we got three moves. Oh, let's just do this. There we go. And then this last Beautiful! Gene's got this right in the bag. Give me my shiny boots. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around anymore. Mario's turn. Uh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, yep, shiny boots do do the job. They do do the job, man. Wait, how did I take out the first one but not the other ones? I guess they do not do the job. I can't. I didn't block one shot. There we are, block one. But what you mean? It takes out one of the crows but not the other ones. Game kind of, kind of throwing me a curveball. Thank God I did buy flash boots. Like I said, like we're starting to face harder enemies. We need the best weapons. Get out of here, dog. Die, die, die. Give me my coins. Battle bonus. Should have got more. Should have got the no damage one. But it's not. So no more bottomless holes left. What is this? Can I hop in here? As I was gonna say, it can't be a bottomless hole. We got them all already. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Okay, so can't do anything there. What the heck, man? There's gotta be another side, because that looks like a door you can hit from a different side. There was another pathway. We cannot knock these things out. Jump on it. Okay, so it's just things on fire. Just things on fire, man. Alright, let's head this way. Brian, do a little hop. We got this little statue right here. That's pretty tough. Go here, yo. Chill on me. Chill on me. What's over here? We got a toad? Yeah. I heard it like jumping up and down the water. You saved me. As thanks, let me show you where you can find a sunken treasure. Okay. Oh, he's going to mark it on our map. Yes, sir. Sunken treasure right over there. That's good to know. Bye. All right. Chill on me, crow. I'm not trying to deal with you. Rescued all the toads already. We're going to head over into this other side. I told you there was another side. And oh, okay. Can we hit these ones? Oh, we can. Okay, so maybe I gotta use the same pattern as the other one. What was it? Was it just this one gone? I think it was this one gone, right? Or was it the one on the right? Let's hit this again. I think it was this one, maybe. Let's see. Yep, that's it. That is it. Gonna trigger a nice little cutscene. 
And so that is what we have to do. We just have to line up with the flames right there. And it triggers a button to come out here. And I told you, you can knock down this door from this side. And come over here and slap up on this button right here. What's this button gonna do? Oh, we're gonna open up a temple room. Secret room. Better be filled with gold. All that good stuff. I want it all. I want it all. We got a nice little treasure chest over here. And we got this right here. Don't give me that. Yeah, here. Give me that. Give me that. Nope. Let's go here. Open up this chest. Bam. Oh, we got a nice little summary submarine marino. That's a that's that's a little tongue twister, right? And we got collected all the treasures as well. We got like everything that this uh that Bonehead Island has to offer. We got all the toads. We got everything. What the heck is this? We slide. Oh, we slide right down here. We can. I guess can we do something to this temple? Oh, we got a little toad statue just turning around. What's good? Let's check it out. Let's say if you seek paradise, gather three orbs on Diamond Island. Paradise. When the world is this statue talking about? So. Three, what is it? Three diamonds on Diamond Island or something? Three orbs on Diamond Island. And a giant fan comes out. What is this? Is this going to blow all the fog away? Oh, it's going to be sick. So no more fog? We did it? Now I guess Diamond Island is on like another destination. I guess that's where we're going to have to head to next. But awesome, yo. Fan comes out of the water randomly. Helps us out. And no more fog. The fog has been lifted. Finally. Wow, the fog totally vanished. That was amazing. Let's get it. Seek and you shall find. Come follow me to paradise. Well, that sounds like fun. But, well, I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. Okay, so that's probably just a later ordeal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As the next episode, we are either going to be going to that diamond island or taking on the purple streamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.